Cheers! This video is to help people who are going to buy a camera and uh, I will share my experience with the uh, two cameras I had. Uh, the 224 from ZWO and the 294 from ZWO2. Well, um, I will not go in deep in, in technical stuff. You can use the, the ZWO website for that. You compare all the cameras and the features and things like that. I will share my experience. Well, first the budget. It's very important. If you have budget, remember this one uh, is the, the inexpensive one and this one, the 294, uh, costs the triple or the quadruple of, uh, of this. But this one, the 290, uh, 294, is the best one because it covers all my needs, which are uh, planetary nebulas, faint objects, large nebulas, all. EAA, astrophotography, I can do it all with this camera. Uh, with this one, the 224, is as a tiny sensor, so uh, I can't uh, go for uh, uh, large objects with, with uh, this camera, but I can manage to, to catch some, if, uh, you, and you too, if you buy this camera and put a, 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 an inexpensive reducer, this is a 0 0.5 reducer, and you can space it, if you put it closer to the sensor it will reduce less so the image will increase just a bit but if you use it to a proper spacing it will uh, reduce uh, uh, <coughs> 0.5 I can't do that <coughs> with this camera because first uh, with my 12 inch Dobsonian uh, even that it, it is tuned and uh, I have uh, the mirror up and and uh, low profile focuser but uh, if I use this I think this TS uh, this is a TS focal reducer 2 inch if I use with my telescope uh, and this camera uh, I think they, they have 55 or 56 millimeters of, uh, of um, space of back focus but uh, it, uh, it will blow all the stars uh, the image gets it, it's too much. Uh, all the edges, the image is like hyperspace. So I use it like this. It will uh, turn uh, your telescope a bit faster. Uh, sometimes it's useful, it depends on your telescope. And uh, <coughs> uh, you can catch a, a bit of more objects that you can frame. Um, the thing is, uh, with the reducer with this one I never use uh, because First, I don't need because it, it, the, two uh, the 294 has a, a, a large sensor and it's the, the best feature uh, I can enhance from this camera. Um, if I put a reducer here, even this only a, a bit of, of uh, reduction, it will blow uh, all the, the images uh, around the, the, the frame. It has already a, a nice uh, sensor. It suffers from some coma uh, with some telescopes. With mine, it was suffering from, from some coma because of the large sensor. But as I use now the, um, the Bader MPCC coma corrector, uh, that, that uh, is not a problem anymore. One thing that uh, by one or another, you will sooner or later you will have to buy is this uh, uh, infrared cut filter that I have in both. Uh, from Bader, I have uh, from is the best one, but you can use other other uh, inexpensive uh, filters for that, because these cameras both the, don't don't are very sensitive and don't cut the the don't have that filter uh, in it. So um, this one, the 294, uh, it's for me it's the best. It's good for EAA catch a lot of stars to, to the software chef, Shark Cap, the, it's the software I use uh, to the software uh, to, to work in EAA. Uh, it, it's good for astrophotography. You can do planetary imaging with that also because you can uh, use a, 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 you can zoom and, and put a different display in, uh, in the, the camera 
uh, in the software to 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 enhance the the objects like a zoom no and uh, and use the region of interest the ROI of the, the camera uh, the thing is it's much easier to work with uh, little objects with a 224 that's an advantage because of precisely uh, of the the, the ROI because if you, the people that use that uh, will understand the ROI has a, a little square that uh, it's used especially with my setup the 12 inch Dobsonian and Equatorial platform that we use to follow the, the, the object uh, instead of having to touch the camera because with my setup sooner or later it will the, the object will will be out of that tiny tiny square so with this camera the, the if I use the same the same uh, size of display in one camera or the other in the 224 it will have a, a, a square that is easy to put the, the mouse on it and, and uh, slide it through the, the, all the frame uh, and follow the object you never miss a frame with this one you can do the same but uh, at the same measurements it will be so tiny so tiny the sensor it's almost you can see it's like a, like a little hand and to put the, the mouse there and slide it, it's it's very hard. It's possible, but it's it's harder with this camera. One one feature that the 224 is good and has too uh, is the the um, all sky lens. This uh, this lens comes. This is says a cap. This lens comes with a, with a 224, and it's for all sky uh, uh, all sky uh, uh, imaging, and uh, which is very nice. I will make videos about that, but not just now. Right now, I have I have another thing that I want to share first. Uh, but main, basically, with this this little thing, you can attach the camera. The camera with a, a tripod pointing to the sky and you can make time lapse you can make um, you can image uh, meteor showers you can uh, frame uh, uh, catch comets uh, it's very nice because it's a, a wide view of the sky that we you will frame it's a different uh, image and very very funny to to do uh, so that's an advantage why I have uh, I still have both and I, I didn't sell the the 224 because of that maybe in the future i will sell the camera i don't know and maybe i, I keep the this lens and i sell i don't know i don't know what i will do for now i want to keep it because of this and also the that easier management of the region of interest for for uh, doing astrophotography with uh, with this camera it's it's much easier uh, with my setup to to can um, move the, the the region of interest um, fast so um, please subscribe to my channel uh, I'm very happy to to have more and more subscribers uh, it's the fuel that uh, that I have to to keep sharing my experience i don't ask nothing in a change only only to to subscribe and uh, help the channel it loads of people watch my videos and that's that's giving me uh, uh, energy and, and willing to to keep sharing more and more experience from the customer point of view and i hope that helps you also to to get ideas and do your adapt to your to your uh, setup uh, the things and uh, help you to to buy things like the cameras which are uh, are to to decide so about this ones it's already said uh, all the if you have budget the 294 it's a large sensor and covers all if you are on the budget uh, you you go f you, and you will go well with a 224 which covers not all the the, the things but uh, the the most interesting part of of the things cheers